So, you want to learn how to be productive, but you don't know how. Maybe you're a world-class procrastinator, or maybe you're just trying to learn how to adult. But don't worry, we have all been there. So, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys 10 tips to actually be productive while also vlogging a productive day in my life. Starting our days off with a positive self-affirmation can set the tone for the whole day. This can be as simple as looking in the mirror and telling ourselves that we're going to be productive today. The idea here is to cultivate a positive mindset and channel that energy into your tasks. Affirmations also promote self-belief and confidence, which are crucial for tackling any challenges you might face. Think of it as a motivational speech you're going to give yourself. It might sound strange, but honestly, it works for me. You might notice in my videos, I love to put affirmations and reminders for a little positive boost. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'm whispering because my kid's still sleeping. But I like to repeat affirmations and reminders. Like, oh, today's gonna be great. So blessed. And I'm like, oh, okay, it helps me give a more positive it's more than not at all things are going good i played some shows i read a book and saw the dog we like to cross the street random thoughts three in the morning i know you'd be happy for me if i told you everything but Talk less, it's more than not at all I'm not saying I don't want this I'm just terrified, that's all Well, if it were up to me, we'd be a darling It's your call, so I guess Set a wake-up routine. I'm going to call it a wake-up routine rather than a morning routine today because lots of people wake up at different times for different reasons like if you work night shifts, for example. Establishing daily habits or productivity routine is another way to streamline your workflow. This could include morning habits like exercising, meditating, or reading, or maybe journaling like I do. Maintaining a routine also provides structure to your day, making you feel more in control of your time. Once you're finished with your wake-up routine, will realize that we are prepared to tackle the day ahead. I sing to you when you go leave me here all alone I'll be waiting and make it cause I know and after all this time you'll be between these lines feeling fine cause you said this is all you want have a plan. The key to productivity is to know exactly what you're going to do instead of waking up with no idea of what's ahead. Prepare an action plan. This could be a to-do list for the day or a detailed schedule. And once this becomes routine, you'll notice that we're going to spend way less time figuring out what to do and more time doing it. Mentally mapping out your day the night before can also be helpful, allowing you to hit the ground running in the morning. Did I make sure I made you feel like nothing else mattered in the world? But nothing that proceeds from these lips could be sufficient, even if I managed to say all I felt. Is it possible to let you know that I don't want another day to go by without you in the song? Time management is also a crucial part of being productive. To manage our time effectively, start by prioritizing our tasks. Identify what tasks are most important and need to be done first. So this can help us focus on what's truly necessary, reducing wasted time. It's also beneficial to set specific and realistic deadlines for tasks to avoid procrastination and to avoid stressing ourselves out. Some things need to be done slowly and with care. 
I personally use a bullet journal to plan out my daily to-do list because checking off things is so satisfying and it provides a creative outlet. I like to put tasks in from big and small in order to continue to stay motivated through the day. Before every week, I also input scheduled events like appointments, meetings, deadlines, or anything else so I don't forget. On the digital side, I also like to input scheduled things into my Google Calendar so I get a notification prior to my meeting or appointment. As we grow older into adults, from high school to college to post-grad, it feels so overwhelming to be taking care of so many things at once, but at least we know that we're not alone. Moreover, learn to say no when you need to. If you're a people pleaser, I know that this can be tough and overcommitting can easily lead to stress and burnout. So it's okay to turn down activities or tasks that aren't essential or don't align with your priorities. Remember that you can't pour from an empty glass. Remember to set aside time for breaks. Taking regular breaks can help you maintain a high level of productivity without overexerting yourself. During these breaks, step away from your workplace and do something relaxing or enjoyable to recharge. I like to get a snack, take a walk outside, or literally just walk around my apartment. Time management isn't about cramming as much work into your day as possible, but it's about optimizing your day so you can work efficiently, effectively, and sustainably without burning yourself out. It's the break of dawn, I'm not making sense. Talking to the wall, calling it a friend. I was in the clear, but lines got blurry again. It's not very warm and I'm alone in bed So call me in the morning, she's over your head Like a pretty rear with both our cheeks turning red Yeah Never think before I react Focus on one task at a time Sometimes multitasking may seem like a good idea to get more done, but it can actually be detrimental to productivity. The human brain is much better at handling tasks sequentially rather than simultaneously. When you focus on one task at a time, you can give your full attention and finish it more effectively and efficiently. And this also minimizes mistakes that can occur when your attention is divided. All right, I'm done work now. We're gonna fold the laundry. We have a lot of laundry to fold and <laughs> I kind of want to reorganize my dresser as well, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Keep a clean environment. Having a clean and organized workspace can significantly impact our productivity. It's easier to focus when we're not surrounded by clutter. So take some time every day to tidy up our workspace and our environment. But this doesn't mean that everything has to be perfect, but it should be organized in a way that helps us work efficiently. Having a specific place for everything and returning items to their place can reduce the time that we spend searching for things. I tend to have big weekend cleanup session and then attempt to tidy a little bit every day so it doesn't get too bad throughout the week. But sometimes this doesn't always happen and things do pile up, which is completely normal. Give yourself rewards. Rewards are a great way to stay motivated. By giving yourself a small reward after completing a task, we're reinforcing the behavior of completing tasks. These rewards don't have to be large, just something to look forward to. This could be a snack, a short break, or time on social media. The idea is to make the process of working towards your goals enjoyable. Additionally, practice self-care because without your health, mental or physical, nothing else really matters. Take care of your own needs, make sure your body is nourished and your brain is a lovely place to be. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait so, maintenant? Tu vas mettre la translation en bas? Oui. On regarde les joueurs de soccer et puis on regarde le drapeau. Et puis on essaie de savoir si on est capable de devenir pays. Oui. Ok, continue. Prochain? Oui. 
Serpi. Um, c'est dans quel continent? C'est dans deux continents. Ah, proche. Proche. Morocco. Ils, non, ils viennent, ils viennent de changer leur nom. Turkey. Turkey. Ah, prochaine. Ah, ça c'est Angleterre. Ça c'est Italie. Yes, good job. Ah, ça je sais pas. Ah, je sais pas. Est-ce que vous savez c'est quoi ce pays-là? Catching pictures up and singing songs Wondering what I did before you came along Oh, you're just what I need The best part of me Somehow it keeps getting better I waited forever But better late than never Better late than never Days and bad days, I know I can call you. No one to call it quits. It's important to understand your own limits. There's only so much work you can do before you start to burn out. When you start to feel exhausted or overwhelmed, it's time to take a break. This could be a short break to clear your head, or it might mean stopping for the day. Remember that rest is just as important as work for maintaining long-term productivity. I know that navigating life can be tough sometimes, but at least we're in this together. Avoid what I can. Let go I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't 